The ritual of establishing contact with goddess Freya. All depends on the deity, and since you haven't specified Freya, all right, perfect, then it's easier to provide advice, since this is our pantheon that we work with, making it easier to answer your question. Let's begin with the basics. The Conway book that you referenced is based on the Wicca tradition. The Wiccan tradition is so-called neo-paganism, that is the paganism that is being revived nowadays. Every young religion tries, I apologize for such comparison, to dress itself up with copious amounts of embellishments, like a caveman, as in maybe something will stick. Too many excessive elements. Half of the ritualistics that are present there, they are absolutely unnecessary. But what they are necessary for is to help people enter a certain state, because the more ritualistic elements there are, the more the person feels that they engage intimately with a specific cult. This is why people very much dislike speaking to a god directly. They would rather go to a place of worship, where all of those ritualistic elements are already in place, making the whole experience seem more legitimate. The same holds true not just for the monotheistic religions, but the pagan deities as well. However, the pagan gods have certain conditions that have nothing to do with ritualism. If you need to conduct a ritual, you do so for yourself, because you need to enter a certain state. If you can enter the state without the ritual, then the ritual is not necessary. It is entirely unnecessary. As a rule, having a ritual is really helpful for novices, beginners, adepts, and neophytes. To them, it does help a lot. It simply helps get you into a certain state. When it comes to pagan deities, here is the following recommendation. Since, in this case, it is Freya, the goddess of fertile nature, then you'll be able to achieve contact with her to a greater degree if you venture outside the limits of human habitat outside of the city. Her realm is forests, fields, rivers, streams, bodies of water that are found in nature and not defiled by humans. As a rule, she is similar to Artemis. She doesn't like to dwell in places where there are humans. Legends tell us how Artemis turned into an animal, anyone who accidentally saw her bathing. Freya doesn't have as much of a warlike spirit, but nonetheless, this is a common attitude of all nature gods. They do not take kindly to human civilization, because the human civilization gives off too many excessive byproducts, both energetic and mental. Therefore, in order to establish contact with these deities, you need to go into the forest, into nature. The greater the degree of wilderness, let's say, the better your connection will be. And after that, it's your words that matter. Freya's totem animals are specifically cats, falcons, lynxes, all felines that live in the forest. They will help you figure out where to locate a territory that is acceptable, comfortable, and comforting to her. With the help of the totem animals, because the gods of nature manifest themselves through animals, so to speak, projecting their consciousness onto animals that they are fond of. Therefore, you will achieve a greater degree of contact with her in the forest. Given this, all of the ritualism that is described there, I will repeat, is only needed for you. If you need to bathe naked in a stream to establish complete contact with the goddess, then this is what you would do. But if there is no need for this, if simply sitting under an oak, ash tree, or a birch, or calling her by her name would be enough, then it is indeed enough. Congratulations, you've got very good contact. Excellent. Through a totem. Exactly on May 1st, because these are our holidays after all. Holidays when we are within our right to unite with our forces, under any conditions and circumstances. This year, this process was slightly interfered with, but nevertheless, this is a sacred time. There are eight ritualistic celebrations in the year for us, eight ritualistic holidays when pagans speak to their gods, thereby establishing a stronger, more intimate contact with the ancient deities, including the gods of fertility. On Beltane, the awakening earth, 
grants us an opportunity to establish greater contact specifically with the gods of nature.